Joe Biden has recently made a decision on Iran which could simply throw all chances of any deal with this country into garbage, making all things more complicated for Iran and US, and especially the future of the Middle East. Let's have a brief look. All obstacles on Iran nuclear deal have been already resolved, except for one, and that is American sanctions against the Iranian IRGC, or the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. And Biden has finally announced that he won't remove this military organization from the terrorist blacklist. The United States placed the IRGC on its foreign terrorist organization list in 2019. The designation was part of the maximum pressure campaign then President Donald Trump imposed on Iran after pulling the United States out of the nuclear deal, which had restricted Iran's nuclear activity in exchange for sanctions relief. By the way, Donald Trump's maximum pressure policy against Iran not only did not cause collapse in their system, but even made them stronger in their position. It only put too much economic pressure on the shoulders of ordinary Iranian people who now blame US more than incompetency of their own system for their well-being difficulties. So I don't get the point here why US is still insisting on this policy while it already knows that it doesn't work. Israel has long been among the most vocal foreign governments in opposing the removal of the Iranian military branch from the terrorism list and the continuation of the nuclear agreement. The Israel, which some days ago officially carried out a terror attack in Tehran and killed an Iranian military officer, is talking about terrorism. Biden administration officials have spent more than a year in often indirect discussions with Europeans, Iranians and other officials aimed at reviving the nuclear agreement. But while the negotiations have made significant progress, the IRGC's terrorist designation has made a major stumbling block to a final restoration. Now, considering Iran's fierce position regarding IRGC, perspectives for any deal is doomed. If so, Middle East could uh, face new big security challenges to add to the chaos in Europe and also East of Asia. Who could control this situation? I don't think anyone has foreseen any plan. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and write your opinion down in the comments.